The most common infections that can cause reactive arthritis are infections that affect the bowels or infections that can be affect the genital urinary system. The way reactive arthritis develops is the person that gets an infection. In the process of fighting off the infection, the body creates an antibody to fight the infection, and that antibody actually is misguided and it attacks the person themselves, usually in the joints. Reactive arthritis is a type of inflammatory arthritis that usually is self-limited. So these patients will have swollen, tender joints a few weeks after an infection. Fortunately, with conservative therapy, usually some over-the-counter medications and even some prescription medications, this form of arthritis will go away within about six to nine months, but it can be very painful. There are different types of infections that can lead to reactive arthritis. So if you feel that you have developed an arthritis after an infection, you should speak with your doctor so that the right treatment plan can be developed.